Hello again, Ako back here. A uh, little update on the fusion reactor progress. I'm um, just producing a bit of power at the minute. Looks the same at the top. Should I'm changing my floor to aluminium. I found a use for the aluminium that I used to scrap. Right anyway, I like this stuff and it's uh, explosion proof, which is nice, but it's just a bit much when there's this much of it, I think. So I'm going to make the place nice and light. Um, for some reason, I thought that the HVs would put 2000 EU a tick into each of these, but obviously that's not the case. The HVs drop it down to 512, so we'd need four times the amount of uh, air issues, I think, to, to swallow all the power. Which um, should be a concern. We need a different transformer that can step stuff down to 2k, I think. So the supercondensator steps things down to 8. The HV transformers step things down to 512. So, hmm. Does, hmm. Right, I have to think about that. I think putting them the other way can step things back up to 2000, can it not? Anyway, I'll find out. Um, expanding my system a bit more. I've got. Eight on this side, four on this side, and I've got a super condensator putting eight k into matter fabricator on this side. Um, not automated yet. I'm just uh, running this a little bit at a time. I'm actually going to move this away, I believe. Once I've got interdimensionals, I'm going to just run four interdimensionals into four faces of a matter fab and just run it as I need it. Uh, so my aim is still to get, to make every single EU per tick that this produces into storage is my aim. As you can see, it's not going to be the case in a minute. So um, I'm going to look at making sure I can step that to 2048 and uh, I'll make another video if and when I work that out or when I start upgrading to the interdimensionals. So, okay, thanks for watching. Bye.